Okay, now we study the volume preserving flow by a uh, higher homogeneous curvature function. The first result in this direction was proved by Kabbalah's rivers and the same story in 2010 uh, for the volume preserving flow by powers of the Kismin curvature. Uh, here, alpha is greater than one and the EK is the Kismin curvature. And they showed that if the initial hypersurface M0 is sufficiently pinched, and then the flow converges to a round sphere. And the condition sufficiently pinched, this is uh, the same as, as the one for the corresponding contracting curvature flow. And during the proof, the case steps are the following. The first, the sufficiently curvature pinching is preserved along the flow. Hmm. And uh, we note that for alpha greater than one, the flow may become degenerate when EK is small. This is because the linearized operator L uh, looks like this. And the coefficient here um, uh, may become uh, small uh, if EK is small. Mm. To overcome this problem, they observed, they observed that the curvature EK satisfies this equation. This is a porous medial type equation. And so the estimate for the, um, for the porous medial equation uh, could be used to imply that uh, EK uh, is holder continuous. This is useful uh, to derive the regularity of the flow. And this, and this estimate um, of, was previously used by Schurz in 2010 and uh, Anisandri and uh, Sanistori in 2010. Uh, for the corresponding contracting curvature flows. And for the flow by powers of general uh, smooth symmetric curvature function F, uh, McCoy in 2017 showed that um, this flow converges to a round sphere provided that the initial hypersurface is sufficiently pinched. And here the condition is alpha greater than one, I think. Mm. And uh, again, the sufficient curvature pinching can be preserved along the flow. Uh, to handle the degeneracy of the flow, McCoy adapted an estimate of smoothing to derive a lower bound on the, on the F. And this idea will be used later uh, in our, uh, in our um, proof of the theorem. Um, that, and uh, this argument relies on the fact that the half surface um, with a strong curvature ratio bound uh, sufficiently close to the sphere. However, it seems that uh, the curvature pinching estimate is not important, is not so important for the uh, volume preserving flow than the for the corresponding contracting curvature flow. For example, uh, by Andrews in 2001 studied the, um, studied the, an isotropic volume preserving mean coverage flow and uh, proved that uh, convex solution uh, converges to the work shape and uh, the, the, the low coverage pinch estimate can be obtained. And instead, the convergence, re convergence argument uh, uh, was based on the improving of the isoparametric ratio. Uh, here, the work shape uh, is, is uh, just uh, the unit sphere. Uh, for if uh, uh, for isotopic and the argument based on the improving of uh, isoparametric ratio and this argument was developed further by a story uh, in 2015 and um, just he obtained the following theory by by the volume preserving flow um, um, by powers of mean curvature. The assumption is, uh, is, is that the, the initial half surface is smooth, closed, and uh, convex. Then for any power alpha, for, which is positive, the volume or area preserving flow by powers of mean curvature uh, has a smooth convex solution for all time t. And the evolving surface converges to a round sphere smoothly. We note that this convergence result holds for arbitrary positive alpha 
and uh, low coverage printing assumption is required. And to show to show the convergence to the sphere, and the as a parametric bond are used to deduce bonds above on diameter and below on the in, inner inner edges. And this argument, um, and this argument, in fact, holds hold for OK. Hmm. Uh, I will mention this later. And the porous media type estimates are applied to give holder continuity of the mean curvature. And then from this, we can deduce, uh, it is possible to deduce that the solution remains regular and the convergence to its most limit, which has constant mean curvature, so, so is the sphere. Hmm. So now in the next, uh, our, uh, our main theory is the generalization of this theorem um, and for all case mean curvature. And this is the main result. Now this is the joint work with the burn engines. Hmm. The assumption is um, if the initial type of surface is convex, uh, smooth and closed. Then for any positive alpha and for all k from one to n, the volume preserving curvature flow by parts of the EK, the case mean curvature has a smooth strictly convex solution MT and uh, converges um, smoothly to a uh, sphere. Some remarks are the, are the following. Uh, when k is one, as we just mentioned, this uh, was proved by the story in 2015. And when alpha is one, that is the flow by one homogeneous curvature fun function, this result was proved by McCoy in 2005. And uh, for general case, for general k from one to m, and uh, for all alpha greater than one, uh, this result was proved uh, Proved under the uh, assumption that the initial uh, hypersurface is sufficiently pinched. Uh, so, in our theory, we removed this condition. Okay, now uh, in the in the following part of the of my lecture, I will discuss the proof of the theory. Uh, some key steps and the keywords that. Uh, First, uh, we 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 have that the as a parametric ratio is monotone decreasing, and this is a same this is similar with the one for the uh, volume preserving flow by powers of mean curvature um, observed by the story, and this could uh, uh, be used to control the geometry of the surface MT. Then, secondly, we can derive the upper bound on the EK uh, by using an Using an est estimate of tau, and uh, we also divide. We can also derive a uh, time de time dependent error bound on the principal curvature. This means that the convexity is preserved, and from this we can we can get the long time existence of the flow. And the third, the third, third part, uh, to show the convergence, we need some new idea. New idea the a new idea. Um, we will use the curvature measure theory and uh, the Alexander center of reflection argument uh, to show that uh, the, the flow converge, convergence to a round sphere in the host of sense. And uh, this is the new part of the proof. And uh, finally, we will adapt uh, an, an, esti an estimate of smoothing uh, to derive a lower bound on the EK. This implies a lower bound on the EK. Uh, and then a uniform lower bound on the principal curvature. Mm. And, and this combined with the upper bound on the EK um, plus the upper bound on EK uh, can imply that um, the principal curvature kappa is bounded from above by a, a constant. And from this, we can uh, deduce the smooth convergence of the flow to the round sphere. Okay, now in the remaining part, we will uh, discuss uh, some details of the proof. Uh, first, uh, we uh, we see the monotonicity of the isoparametric ratio, and this is just by um, 
by the direct uh, calculation uh, of the of the VK. Uh, because our flow is volume preserving, so the volume is a fixed uh, constant, uh, which is this, which means that V zero is a constant. And uh, and this means this is equivalent to that uh, the time derivative of um, omega t uh, is zero. This is given by the integration of phi t over the integration of phi t minus uh, e k to the power alpha over k. This is zero. And we, we define this as higher order as a parametric ratio uh, by v k to the power m plus one and over v zero to the power m plus one minus k. And here v k is the core mass integral. And uh, by the variation or formula for the v k, we have that the time derivative of v k is given by the integration of the speed of the flow times e k over the surface m t. Then, um, then from this identity, we solve phi t and put here, and we can express the integration here um, 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 by this um, integration. And finally, we get that this is equal to minus the integral of some non-negative non -negative function. This is non-negative. Uh, so the time derivative of VK is non-positive. This means that VK is decreasing um, unless EK is a constant. Uh, here we denote the EK bound, the average integral of the EK over the surface. So the proof is simple. Um, and the monotonicity of the IK means that the IK of omega t for each positive time t is bounded from above by the initial value. This gives the upper bound on the IK. And on the other hand, the Alexander Fincher inequality uh, would imply a lower bound, lower bound of IK. Then, because for any convex body omega t, the, the value of the IK is bounded from below the, by the uh, value of IK on the unit boom. This is a fixed constant. So now we have the uh, two side two sided up two-sided positive bound on the isoparametric ratio I came. And this is useful to control the geometry of the domain omega t. And here we need to mention that the domain omega t is, is the enclosed domain by the air, by the surface mt. That is, sorry, the convex. This is omega t, the boundary is mt. Okay. okay, now we uh, use the monotonicity to uh, to show the, the good shape estimate. We see that the area uh, of MT and the outer radius, also plus T, and the inner radius are uniformly bounded along the flow. Uh, first, on the bound on the area, uh, we first uh, use the isoparametric inequality. Um, because the area to the power one over n is greater than a constant times the volume to the power one over n plus one. But the volume is a fixed constant, so this is a constant. This means this means that the, the area is bounded from below. On the other hand, to show the upper bound on the area, uh, we apply the mon monotonicity of Vk. Uh, because, so Vk of omega zero is bounded from below by Vk of omega t. And then the, we apply the Alexander Fincher inequality uh, to bound uh, bounded from below of Vk by the L constant times V1 to the power uh, m plus one minus k over m. And uh, we know that V1 is the area. So this gives an estimate of um, uh, mt from above. Then, then for the estimate on the inner readers and the outer readers, we apply the following inequality, uh, which was proved by Ben Andrews in 2001 uh, in his paper on anisotropic volume preserving mean curve flow. And from this inequality, we get the 
upper bound on the outer radius is a plus. Uh, but, uh, in terms of the quantity involving the area and the volume. And we also get the lower bound on inner, inner leaders uh, by, by our quantity of the volume of omega divided by the area of M. Because now omega is, is a fixed uh, constant, the area is bounded from above and below. So this gives uh, a two-sided bounded um, inner leaders inner readers and outer readers. So, so this gives the gives a good good shape estimate on the evolving uh, surface. And uh, next we need to estimate the curvature, the curvature of the uh, the evolving surface so that we can we can we can show its convergence. Uh, the first step we show the upper speed bound. Uh, we, we show that there, there exists a constant which is uniform and independent of the time, and such that the curvature EK is bounded from above by a constant C along the plume. And this uh, estimate is by, a, is, is by a standard argument of, of Chao. Uh, the, the idea is as following. Um, for any fixed uh, time t zero on the on the existing time interval, we suppose uh, we choose an inner ball, an inner ball of omega t zero uh, as a b uh, b p zero zero zero. Here p zero is uh, the center of the boom, and this is the inner inner radius. Uh, by applying the comparison principle, we can show that the the half boom, the half boom of the Radius is so zero divided over two, and is again is 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 also contained in the domain omega t for all time t from t zero to t zero plus tau. And this is on a fixed time interval. Because this is the time interval. This is the t zero. This is the t zero plus tau. So for all well, for all t from t0 to t0 plus term, uh, this half form is still contained in the ball omega t. Um, we, then we define the support function, the support function with respect to the center p0 um, by the position, by the, by the shifted position vector, that means the x minus p0 um, product with the unit normal vector nu. Uh, and uh, consider the consider the following function function uh, uh, defined as the the speed uh, e k to the power alpha over k uh, over u minus the constant. This is the const This constant is the half the half uh, radius half of this radius. So from this uh, property, we see that uh, uh, this function is well defined on the time interval from t0 to t0 plus tau. Uh, here tau is a fixed uh, constant and independent of t0. Hmm. And we can uh, calculate the evolution equation of this quantity and, uh, show, and uh, show that the spatial maximum of z uh, satisfies this uh, differential inequality. The time derivative of z tilde is bounded from above by z tilde. Um, square times this quantity. And here is the minus, minus sign. So this, this is a good term. And from this inequality, we can apply the maximum principle uh, to conclude that the, uh, conclude that Z is bounded, bounded from above um, by a constant. Um, then the upper bound on the UK follows from the bound on Z and uh, also the upper bound on u, uh, because u is bounded from above by the by the outer leaders. The outer leaders bound was already improved uh, in previous page. So now we get the upper bound on the ek. Uh, the next step is to show the convexity is preserved, and and also means that the principal curvature is bounded from below by a constant. Uh, for that, we uh, will apply the Gauss map parameterization. Uh, sometimes it are, um, 
it is always convenient to uh, use the Gaussman parameterization to study the flows uh, of convex type surface. And here we give a brief, um, uh, a brief introduction uh, for the Gaussman uh, parameterization. Uh, giving a smooth convex hypersurface M uh, in, in the Euclidean space, uh, the Gauss map is the map uh, from the hypersurface to the unit sphere, which maps any point x uh, to the unit, no unit normal vector at x. Hmm. That is uh, from x maps to the u new x. New x is the unit ultra world normal. Uh, of the hypersurface at the point X. Um, the Gauss map is a, is a non-degenerate diffeomorphism because uh, the because the differential the differential is the one garden map. This is uh, from the tangent space to the to the tangent space of the unit sphere. This is identity with with the tangent space of M, and uh, we. We have that this is a, this is just the one guide map, and the D new of E I M is just the uh, H I G E G. Now because the surface is convex, the, so the differential of new um is non is non degenerate generate. So we can use the inverse Gauss map to the par parameterize uh parameterize the half surface. Mm. And we first define the support function of of a convex hypersurface M, uh, defined as uh, for any point Z on the unit sphere, the support function um, of M um, um, S Z is defined as the position vector at um, the inverse um, the previous image of Z under the Gauss map uh, product with Z. Okay, so then we can parameterize the hypersurface by the embedding x. Uh, the embedding x is, uh, can be expressed as this. x of any point z on the unit sphere is, give, is given by the support function s z times z plus the gradient of s. Now here, the lambda bar is the gradient with respect to the, the round matrix on the unit sphere. And this can be easy to see uh, because uh, because S Z is just equal to X Z product with the with Z. And also the gradient of S is just uh, equal to the gradient of X X Z Z plus X Z. And the first term, term vanishes because z is normal and uh, lambda i x is tangential. So this means this is just uh, x z. Okay, so so s gives the normal part and then uh, uh, lambda i s gives the the tangential part of x. So we can write the position vector x as s z times z plus the uh, the gradient of this. And the and also the principal curvature of the hypersurface uh, can also be uh, expressed in terms in terms of, in terms of the support function s. Uh, we have the relation uh, kappa i is equal to one over tau i, and and here tau i are the eigenvalues of the poly two tensor tau i g. Um, here tau i g is uh, the second order derivative of s plus. Uh, and the s times the g bar i g, and uh, and uh, we can uh, give a quick proof for this identity. Can give a quick proof for the identity. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. We can take a second uh, water derivative of s s. That is nabla g nabla i of s z, and this is equal to nabla i x z. 
And so we combine this, and we, if we denote um, uh, this by the tau ig, then we can get that um, the, the Wangardian tensor is just equal to um, tau ig inverse gkg. This is equivalent to that uh, the principal capture kappa i is equal to 1 over tau i. And we call the tau i as the principal radius uh, of the curvature. So under the Gauss map parameterization, we can we can express the principal curvature in terms of the uh, one of one over the curvature radius tau i, and uh, each tau i are eigenvalues of the tensor tau i g, which is given by the Hessian of s plus s times g bar i g. Um, under under the Gauss map parameterization, parameterization we can convert the uh, curvature flow for convex hypersurface uh, to a scalar par parabolic PDE uh, of S. And so we can we can use the the, the parabolic uh, um, PDE theory to study the flow. And uh, and this flow is also the proof for this lemma is also also simple. We can uh, we can give a one-sided part um, for the equivalence. As that is, we, we can prove from left to right. Uh, suppose we have a solution x uh, to this curvature flow x. And this is uh, embedding from m um, to, to the Euclidean space. At each time, u is uh, the normal vector which is a Gauss map from the M to the unit sphere. Uh, so we can use because we can use uh, the inverse Gauss map to the uh, par parameterize the embedding X as net X Z T equal to X the inverse of the Gauss map. So this is the embedding X S to the Rm plus one. Then we can compute the compute the evolution uh, of the support function. We get and this is equal to partial t of x z t now product with z because z is independent of time t. Now to compute the time derivative of, of x, we have two parts. The first part is the 
it's just the time derivative of x. And the second part is um, um, because because this part also depends on time t, also depends on time t. So we have partial x and partial x, um, x and i, and the partial new inverse z i t z. And, and this part is this part is tangential and z is normal, so the product is zero. So finally, we get uh, we get this is the 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 func the function here product with z. Z equal to z uh, equal to phi t minus f alpha of kappa, and we can rewrite this as phi t minus f star minus alpha to tau i j. So we can convert the uh, curvature flow uh, for a convex hypersurface to this um, scalar par parabolic PDE uh, of the support function f. And moreover, we can also compute the evolution equation of the tensor tau i j. And this will be used to uh, to show the to show that the convexity is preserved, uh, because the eigenvalues of the tau ig is equivalent to the uh, to the one of the principal curvatures. Uh, for the flow, uh, we just uh, apply the evolution equation of the s, uh, because along the flow we can have the evolution equation of s in previous lemma here, and uh, the how I g is defined as, as this, so we can just apply the we can just apply the um, this equation partial t tau i g is given by um nabla i nabla g of partial t partial s and plus partial t s times t by i g and then um put the evolution equation of s by t minus f star minus alpha oh. and plus phi t minus f star minus alpha tau oh. d by i g uh, then we can we can expand the right hand side and uh, we all we we also need uh, we also need the same identity for the second uh, covariant derivative uh, because because here we need um, because here we after we expand this, this term, we can uh, get um, alpha f star minus alpha minus one f star k r and nabla i nabla g tau k r uh, plus some other terms. We need to um, we need to uh, rewrite this as the Parabolic warp operator applied to tau ig. This um, can be uh, rewritten as this by using the same identity. We have nabla i nabla g uh, tau k r given is equal to nabla k nabla r tau ig plus some other terms. And the tau k g and the minus g k r and the tau i g and so finally we can get this uh, evolution equation and th and this is the time derivative and this is the second order derivative mm. and some gradient terms here and some zero order terms and in the following way we will apply this equation to to derive the convexity preserved. Um, suppose the initial hypersurface is convex. Then we show that for each positive time t, the evolving surface mt is also convex. Mm. And this is, uh, to prove this lemma, we, we just apply the Gauss map uh, parameterization as we just mentioned. 
and to estimate the lower bound on the cow ion, uh, kappa ion. Uh, because to show that the surface is convex, we just need to show um, a positive bound of the principal curvature. And also, um, just to show that the principal curvature is positive. Okay, we just need to estimate the upper bound of the tau i. Um, we just uh, cal calculate the tensor of the tensor tau i g satisfy uh, this evolution equation and uh, tau i are uh, eigenvalues of tau i g. So here we apply the tensor maximum principle to estimate the upper bound on the largest eigenvalue of tau i. Uh, we we look at this evolution equation. Uh, because now f star is concave. Now f star is um, is e n over e n minus k to the power of one over k. So this is a concave or concave function. So we have this term is a good term, which is non-positive, and this and the third term is also non-positive. And this is non-positive. And finally, we can use the upper bound on f star, f star, and uh, plus the upper bound on phi t, get that this term is bounded from above by a constant c. So by applying the tensor maximum principle, we see that the time derivative of the maximum ten maximum eigenvalue tau is bounded from above by a constant c. So after integration. Uh, we, we get that uh, the largest eigenvalue of tau ig at uh, any positive time t is bounded from above by by the exponential to c times t max times the uh, initial data. So if the uh, time is finite, so this gives the upper bound of tau i, and equivalently this is, uh, gives the lower bound of principal curvature. Uh, this means that the uh, surface preserved preserved to be convexity. Okay, now we have we already have the upper bound on the e k and the time dependent lower bound on the principal curvature. We can apply the standard argument to show the long time existence. Uh, suppose the suppose not if suppose not that is uh, the maximum existence time t is. Uh, finite. Uh, we we first have the uniform upper bound on E k, and also the lower bound on the principal curvature cap i. Uh, here the lower bound may depend on the time t. If we order the principal curvatures as kappa one smaller than up to kappa m, then we can um, using the definition of E k to get the upper bound on the principal curvatures because e k is greater than this uh, this factor and this is bounded from above above from below by epsilon to the power k minus one times kappa m and we get the from this from the bound on e k we get the bound on kappa m so now we get the uh, two-sided bound two-sided bound on the principal curvature uh, so the bound may depend on time, and uh, because time, time t is finite here, so this is equivalent to a C2 estimate. Um, now, now, so uh, on this time interval, uh, our flow is parabolic, um, and uh, which is uh, concave with respect to the second special derivative. Uh, here, concave. Uh, this is because if we um, if we use the Gauss map parameterization, we see that we see that partial t uh, partial t of s is given by phi t minus f star minus alpha tau i g, and tau i g uh, involves the second special derivative of s. Uh, so if we denote the right hand side as as an operator g. Um, of um, second water derivative of s and s t. Now we we see that uh, partial g of partial um, partial s i g 
And we can also calculate that the second water derivative is equal to alpha f star minus alpha minus one f star i g k l and minus alpha alpha plus one f star minus alpha minus two and f star i g f star k l. So it is clear to see that uh, the uh, g is concave. G is concave with respect to the second um, water special derivative. So we can apply the theorem of T n and one to derive the C two alpha estimate of the flow. Uh, here we need to note that the right hand side of the the flow uh, contains a global term phi t here. Phi t is only bounded. We do not know uh, if it is holder continuous. Continuous, so we cannot apply uh, directly the Kirchhoff and the subflow of the C two alpha estimate. We need to apply T and one arguments. Then the remaining part is standard. We can apply the parabolic Schroeder theory to derive the C K alpha estimate, and then the flow can be continued, continued, and uh, finally we get that the maximum existence time t is infinite. infinite. So the flow exists for all time t. Okay, now we have proved that the flow exists for all time t. And the next step is to show the convergence to the round sphere. And we will talk about this in the in the next part.